War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Sean totally has your eyes. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Nice. Did you get a haircut? Yeah, not bad. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Well, Jimmy, maybe you should just see for yourself. Oh, sounds like 
<laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! vault calling! Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Tim, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. my little guy. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, 
evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Shut me. Up. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me! Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can! Now keep moving! Step on the platform! In the center! <sighs> Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we no. Don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and Vault through the door there. Is here for you. Just this All way, new please. Residents, this please way. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Mail. This way, please. Welcome Mail. Home. Just this way. Mail. This one's good. Female and female. Step over to the Mail. table. And take a suit. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome. Okay. You'll Pick need your suit suits right before there. we can take you further. Good. Right over there, please. Just step over to the table. Over there. Take a suit. Yeah, looks fine. Take your suit. You'll need it. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, Here you're you gonna are. love it. Get down the hall. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother Sir? and father down in DC. Oh god, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long Move do along. you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few Good medical thing. items we have to get through first. The is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five.
is the one. Here. Open it. Giant roaches? What the hell?
return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Salt Tech. You're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here! Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? She's... In a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. What's all this? 
this then. Not this time. Tis but a scratch. I'm just picking up hostile. Not this time. That's that. Sensors are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! What's all this? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. 